Hey everyone, it's Katie, and I know I haven't filmed a video in a really, really long time, but I decided I'm going to film two videos today, that way I have some videos to talk about. This will be the second video rolling up, even though I'm filming it first. And this is my product empty video, and I have a lot of products to mean that I haven't made videos in a really long time. So, I'm also filming on a little, like, point-and-shoot camera, because my, can my Canon Rebel is currently dead because I used it for a school project in January and then I was just like, oh, I'm not making, making any more videos until I make college decisions, which I have made. You know about that if you watched my previous video. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the past I've used up. Now, the first one I technically didn't use up because I didn't like them. And it's by Absolute, and they're the makeup cleansing tissues, and they're in the vitamin C extract. And it comes with about 10 in a pack. I think I used two or three of them. I just really didn't like it because I don't like scented makeup cloths. I don't like that many scented products to begin with. This did come in a glossy box, but um, as I'm saying, this is like overpriced for what you're getting because I did look at the sales value price and stuff like that. And that's that. The next um, wipes I used up are by Murad. I do have a little sample packet that you'll see later on in this video that I used before I got the full size, but these are the Murad Clarifying Wipes for Blemish Prone Skin. And they're clinically proven to keep skin clear by removing dirt, bacteria, and pore clogging oil. And it's a 30 count, and I believe this was around 16 to $18, depending on where you bought, buy it. I bought mine on Amazon. However, I don't think I would repurchase these, because I think they gave my skin, like, some dry patches by the end of, like, using, like, 20 of them, because I was using them, like, every night to remove my makeup, and I was cleansing my skin, etc. So, they're nice for a once-in-a-while thing, because they do give your skin a tingly, clean feeling. The next, um item I used up is something I repurchased and it will be coming in the mail very soon because without it my skin has not been doing that great. I've been without using it for about two and a half weeks now because I was trying to use up a different toner but I'll talk about that toner later in the video. But this is Michael Todd True Organics Blue Green Algae Antibacterial Toner and it's moisturizing yet it has antibacterial um, properties in it that don't dry your skin out but also help reduce acne. It smells clean. It doesn't give like a heavy odor. Obviously it is somewhat scented from the products that are in it but I highly recommend it. I think this was $14 on Amazon. Not positive about the price but I think it's great and since I will be dorming if you know about my other video I'm definitely going to have to bring at least two extra bottles or an extra bottle of this to the dorm room just in case I run out because I don't think Michael Todd products are sold at Target or in the local mall near the school, so. Another product they used up was from a glossy box, and this is Anotomomix. You need a blooming shower. Your nose smells rose body cleanser. Now this I would repurchase, however I'm not going to. It's a very gel-like cleanser. Um, I found that I was wasting a lot of products because I feel like it wasn't lathering that well, but it did smell really lovely. And, like, if I got sent this again in a different beauty box or something like that, I would definitely use it. I used quite a few of these packets that I'm not sure if there's any more of them in, but these are the Target um, Cotton Rounds Exfoliating 100% Cotton Rounds. And I like these because if you really want to exfoliate your skin without using, like, a scrub, you can use the other side that's more exfoliating, or you can use the more cushion plush side to um, remove makeup or nail polish. I normally use these with my Bioderma. And another product I used up is the Bulgari um, tea, um, what is this called? tea bag for bath. Now I used this on one of the days that it was snowing outside after I had like shoveled for like three hours straight. If you live near where I live or you know where I live, then you know that we got like four feet of snow and it was pretty intense. But I definitely would not repurchase that because I'm not into baths, and plus in college, the dorms don't have tubs. So I'm going to be taking a lot of showers. I, another skincare product I used up is the Ahava Time to Clear Purifying Mud Mask. I got this at Ulta. It was one of the little, like, travel size, um, near the checkout kiosk type of products. 
I got this and something I noticed is if you did put it on area that an area on your skin that had been like opened or the wounds were open in your acne, this would burn and you normally leave this on for about 15 minutes. I did notice that it did clear up my skin so if you want to try a product like this you definitely should. However, I don't think I'd repurchase it because I have so many skincare products in my bathroom at the moment. Um, another body-ish type of product. Now, this is quite old. I have, like, all of them. I bought, like, a pack of five, or it was, like, buy five and get, like, a lower price from Bath & Body Works in the winter. And this is Tis the Season Antibacterial Genting Foaming Hand Soap. And it was nice. My whole family was using it since it was in our bathroom in our house. So it lasted not that long because, like, a lot of people wash their hands. So four people, one, four to five people, depending on if anyone was over, were using this. So it only lasted two and a half weeks, I think. The hair product I used up is Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play. I was going to repurchase this. However, I um, repurchased the Big Sexy Healthy Hair or something like that hairspray which I don't like as much. I definitely will repurchase this once I'm done using the big healthy hair spray. I have no idea what it's called. It's in the blue container. Deodorant that I did not use up because I clearly didn't like it is the Dove Advanced Care Nourishing um, Moisture Shea Butter 24 Hour Antiperspirant Deodorant. Got this on the day of my interview for the college I'm attending now. And I was like, I really need a deodorant. I have no deodorant left. I have no deodorant left. I bought this on a whim because I was like, oh, it's new. It must be good. It was not good. It does not last if you have oversensitive skin or you sweat a lot due to being in a lot of activities or you just sweat a lot because that's how your body chemistry works. I do not recommend this if you have that type of body like me. I recommend using certain dry um, roll-on or the solid because those work incredible. Some more makeup wipes that I used up are the Sim Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. These I will re continue to purchase sporadically because I do like them and they are a cheap makeup wipe for what you get. And I believe 25 wipes. I believe they made a bigger package now that's like 30 or 45 wipes now, but I'm not positive about that. Some more antibacterial hand wash is the Sugared Vanilla Wishes by anti by antibacterial, no, by, um, this is by Bath and Body Works. And this is another Christmas scent. I did, however, like this one a lot more than the Tis the Season hand wash. Another hand wash, since I'm just going to pull them out right now, is, um, Sugar Maple, this is again by Bath & Body Works in the foaming because that's my favorite formula. I like this one a lot too. I think this was my mom's favorite scent too. Um, this is actually really old. This is from last year's um, Black Friday haul or like fall haul. I think what haul this is from, but I know this is not from this year. This is from last year. And it's the um, Bubble Bath Twisted Peppermint. I, I like don't take bubble baths that much, or if I do, I'm no normally using Lush products. So I um, used this up finally. I don't love it that much. I actually think I was using it as a body wash eventually because I just wanted to use it up. And it's not the best, but then again, Bath & Body Works has a lot of, like, harmful ingredients in their products anyway, so maybe that's why, and it's better that I'm not buying this again, but I don't really know. Another Bath & Body Works product is Pumpkin Cupcake, and this is antibacterial, gentle, gentle foaming, and soap again. And this scent was really nice, especially in, like, November, because that's when I placed my order, so I was using this one first, I think, or something like that. And once again, these last, like, two and a half weeks if you have a family of four to five people using hand soap in the bath. The other product I used up was the Twisted Peppermint Shower Gel. More makeup wipes are the Pond's Wet Cleansing Towelettes. Now these I think are much better than the simple one, especially for the price. They're 30 towelettes and I believe it's like $2.99 at Target or if you get the Target Up and Up brand, they're like the same thing. I've had those before too. And it's like the same moisture factor where the towelettes are each wet and each equally wet so you can remove the most makeup possible. And, and it's a Dove Clear Tone. And this helps restore um, underarms to their natural color. So if you have a darker underarm, 
this will help bring down the shade a little bit and it says it lasts 48, 48 hours but I don't believe that because once again if you have like overly active armpits I know TMI but this will not help you so I would recommend using like certain dry roll on and then putting a little bit of this over top a little makeup towel packet that I was telling you about I got this in a Sephora order like as one of those little sample things and it's the Clarifying Wipes by Mira, it just had one in it, and then that got me to try the full size, which I told you I definitely would say is more of a once in a while product. Another product that I tried was the Biore um, Deep Charcoal Cleanser, this came in a little magazine, and I don't think it's worth it as a cleanser, it didn't do much. Something that I do think charcoal wise is worth it is the MAC Mineralized Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. This gets deep into your skin. I normally use this on my back and shoulders and also on my skin when I'm in the shower because your pores are opened up when the steam is on your skin. An acne product that I used up is by the Body Shop, this tea tree oil. I repurchased a different brand of tea tree oil. Right now I'm using Desert Essence and it's a much bigger bottle and it's much better for the price. Sweet Lips. And it's nice. It's a nice exfoliator. I definitely do need to repurchase a lip exfoliator eventually. And another one that I just couldn't finish because I thought it was awful is by Fortune Cookie Soap and it's called Itty Bitty Gritty. It's in a chapstick form and it's pretty much impossible to use something like that without like it getting everywhere. I normally use over the top of the um, Sweet Lips Lip Club. I was not able to finish. This is called Honey Trap. It's just because it got old and dried up and it's expiration coming really soon and I, and I didn't want to put something like this on my lips if it's like old. It's like three years old. This is Benefit Triple Performing Facial Illusion Moisturizer. I don't think I would repurchase that but I do have the full size in my bathroom right now that's half used so I definitely need to get on using that. Then I used up uh, two pocket baths in Twisted Peppermint. I'm pretty much out of hand sanitizer now. I think there's one left in my school bag that like, has three uses left. So that will be in an empty video by Skin Iceland. And this is Hydro Firming, Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. These are just little um, pads that you place under your under eyes and it's supposed to reduce puffiness and make you look more awake. I got it on Urban Outfitters in a set called Skin Hangover. I think they still have the set on there. It came with this, an eye cream, facial gel, and a um, liquid spray to wake your skin up. The skin product that I used up that I thought was very cool is the Renu Exfoliating Gel. It's like a gel, but it has no exfoliating beads in it whatsoever. But when you rub it into your skin, a small layer of skin will come up on your actual skin, like dead skin particles, and it's very cool to watch, and it's by Sesha, and that I got in a glossy box. It's been in the bag, um, this is the Moisture Prep Moisturizing Toner by Benefit. This I, um, dumped, it was down to here, I just couldn't use it anymore, it's expired, I've had this since sophomore, sophomore year summer, and I just couldn't finish it up because you use such a, mo a small amount on your skin. And being that I have acne prone skin, I don't like to use too many moisturizing products. The who I used up is by Paul Mitchell, and this is called a Ruha, um, with Wild Ginger Moisturizing Lather Shampoo. I would not repurchase this because it's like any other shampoo. It's just a sulfate-free hydrating shampoo. By the same brand is a keratin cream rinse. This detangles and revives hair. And it's supposed to be like a conditioner. This I also would not repurchase, especially for the price. I think each are like twenty to thirty dollars, and that's kind of expensive. Then I used up a Bioderma bottle. I did have a backup already, so I'm already on to using that. And then I have a small travel size one in case I need to go anywhere. A hair product I used up is by Seabooth, and this is Honey Almond Nourishing Dry Oil Mist. I would use this on my ends before I took a shower, just to hydrate or pre-hydrate before I use my conditioner and I think it worked out pretty well. I got that in a glossy box. And a bath oil I used up is by Fortune Cookie Soap. This is um, Insert Cookie Cutter Name Here. And then another hair product I used up is Nubax and this is a um, extra deep hair care cream and it has keratin in it. 
a body wash I used up by MAC is the Naked Honey. I have one more backup of this and then I'm done using this. And then I'll move on to the actual like more makeup related products in like a second. I have one more hairspray left and this is Oscar Blondi um, Texture and Volume Spray. And I think it's nice to add texture to your hair, however it's not a hairspray and that's what I was using it for so I did not like it. Um, I used up quite a few mascaras, so I'll start with those first. My first used to be my Holy Grail mascara, however, I don't think it is anymore, and that is Bobbi Brown Extreme Party Mascara. Um, this is what the wand looks like. It's a pretty substantial sized wand. I used up Maybelline The Falsies Waterproof. This is the wand. This made my lashes clumpy, so I didn't really enjoy it that much. Heart, um, lights, camera, lashes. This is very clayey, and once again, it made my eyelashes clumpy. And then lastly, this was one of my favorites, and this is Essence Maximize Definition Volume Mascara. And this is what the one looks like. This is available at Ulta for like under $3. Some hand cream I used up is, um, low... Create. I'm not sure how to pronounce this brand, so you're all going to hate on me on the comments, but whatever. And it's just a hand cream in um, Desert Rose. This was a limited edition scent, however, I really enjoyed it, so I wish they would bring it back, but they're probably not going to do that. And then the other one I used up is um, Dr. Hunter's hand cream, and it was just a small shoe. used up is Benefit That Gal. This is just a brightening primer. And I would not repurchase it because it didn't make my makeup stay on much longer than if I wasn't using it at all. The eye primer I used up is a mini NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Base. A lip balm that I used up is Sugar Rose. Yeah, I could dig in there, but I do have a full size, so I'm not going to bother. And then the last two products, or three products in this bag, is the Absolute Na Nail Polish Remover Pad. See if I would not be repurchased because they're overly greasy. A bath product I used up is milk, milk Bath. You're insecure. Donut what for hashtag fall. And this is by Fortune Cookie Soap. And then I used up some Zadior eye drops. So that was it for my empty products video. If you have any empty products that you've used up recently, you can write them in the comments. Or you can send me a video response, and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and my Facebook fan page. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome, amazing, fantastic day.